oh, we're outside now. So we have the wind blowing on my forge, making it even more of a galloping horse or a train going by, chugga 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 chugga, than normal. We have, of course, noisy cars zipping by. That. Here, I have less worry about, uh, I don't know, poisoning myself with deadly off-gassing fumes there. But while the forge is heating up, I wanted to take a moment and talk about the difference between the tongs. This old set I have here are what they call wolf jaw. They're kind of a do-everything, all-arounder sort of tong. Well, it's just like a chef knives in a way. The problem with doing everything sort of is you don't do anything really well. You know, it can basically hold, they, these are way too small obviously, a bigger pair of wolf jaws would hold these better, but you know, as you can see, I really have to have my hand choked up, you know, or have a very wide and awkward grip which is no fun, and it's not very secure. There isn't much to keep it from spinning and twisting as I hammer on it. As you know, with my hammer swings, I need all the help I can get. That's another thing. This is dangling right now. Back it up so you can see it. Close, open. That's as far as it opens, meaning no matter what, I can catch it for all the times that we've had these being all splayed out, going, oh no, how do I get it? I'm losing my heat. That won't be a problem anymore. At least not when I'm working with things that these will work for. As I was saying, these are specialist tongs. They have this V groove here on each side so that they grip nicely and wrap around your round and square stock. I can get a nice solid grip on them that holds tight. Bang them and clang them around. And I can turn them easy. Can even, uh, sort of, it's harder with the glove on it, practice without, but I can roll it around in my hand a little easier to get that nice rounding effect that I like to try so much. Anyway. As wide as these are compared to my forge, it's really hard to get them lined up, kind of stack them in on top of each other, and it's just sort of a mess, but these are going to take a lot of heat to move anyway, I'm betting. Hopefully my hammers are big enough. Anyway, I'll bring you back when I have uh, something hot to smack. here in the light, it is rather hard to tell that there's any color on them. Oh. Hmm. But it's there. It really is. Hmm. Well, hey, that's progress. That's something. This will fit in there a lot easier. Is that going to have any ability? <clears throat> well, I don't know if I've lost heat or if it's just still way too stiff. Back in the fire. For all that it might have seemed I was bad-mouthing wolf jaw tongs, they're actually coming in handy as I can use them sort of like a pickup tong to reach in and pull these when they're nice and bent awkwardly. So it's harder with these bolt tongs to catch them sideways. They're made to catch them like so, not like so. But the wolf jaws, they have little cutouts on the side, so they can catch them like that. All right. I think this one's close to hammerable, other than it's probably way too cold.
having such a stupidly oversized forge, though. Ah, shit. Hmm. can have a couple going at once, so here's the other one. Progress. recently, jerk. <laughs>
That's the only way to get scale off. Smack it. biggest problem I'm having that's slowing me down is uh, stuffing too many in at once. For a while there I had four until I finished one. Now I just got three in there. Bouncing, bumping into each other and getting in the way and making it hard to pull in and out.
another one done. too hard. about it here it's kind of funny I cut most of the straightening out of the last set of videos I did and here this one's literally all straightening Six straightened out, let's get him an healing.
think we will call this one the control. Five of those feel very, very crowded in there. But this one just absolutely will not fit. So I'm just gonna rest it on a fire brick and let it normalize. Though in this temperature, that's uh, gonna be pretty quick, I think. Anyway, get those warmed up and ready to go. That was so much fun. I loved having just something going every time I'd pull one out, I'd hammer on it, and I'd go to put it back in and grab the next one and go. It's just so much fun to do that kind of assembly line routine. I've never really had the opportunity so far to do that. And it kind of is a little hectic, but it's also, you know, it's very active, it's fun, it gets you moving. So you can just go, 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 one after the other. So, but anyway, you probably hear in the background, forge is going away. Gonna get them warmed up to critical temperature and then let them cool down slowly, bricked away inside the forge, and uh, give them an annealing. So hopefully they'll be nice and soft to work with. And like I say, we'll have the one that didn't fit serve as a test to compare them to. So, yeah. This was so much fun. So much thanks to Andy there at um, Quick and Dirty Tool Company. I don't know why I keep forgetting the name. It's so catchy and easy. Please like if you like. Don't if you didn't. Leave any comments down below. Did this seem fun to you? Did you enjoy this more fast paced working? I know I sure did. I had six tools. I think so far I've talked about a chisel and a punch. Any guesses for what the other four might be? Anyway, let me know. And as always, have a wonderful day.